All right, now that we have our DMX Universe fixer profile fully defined, the last step here is to transfer this to the Force 1.0. If you look at our Force 1.0 we have here, if we go into the Save DMX Universe profile locations, you'll notice at location number five, it is currently empty. There is no data here, and this is where we will be saving this in this example. All right, now back on the Force 1.0 app, what you want to do is go to DMX Universes. You want to select the DMX universe we want to transfer. In this case, it is our DJX profile. And you want to specify a Force 1 memory location. In this case, we want to specify location number 5 out of 10. Now, all we need to do is hit the right to Force 1 button on the bottom. A pop-up menu will come up saying to make sure your Force 1 box is powered on to write DMX universe DJX. And you also want to make sure that you have the necessary USB cable connected from the Force 1 to your laptop. Always make sure you use the provided cables that shipped with the unit. Now you want to say yes. And it's going to tell you some instructions. Force 1 must be powered on. From the menu screen, select load, save, delete link. So on our Force 1.0, we want to do just that. That's the red button on the bottom again. And it's going to say press the link button. So we want to hit the link button and data transfer will begin. We can hit OK at any point, and you'll notice that the selected row written to Force 1 happened successfully. And if you look at our Force 1.0, you'll notice on the top left here, it says DJX. That means this profile has now been loaded. And if we go into our saved DMX universe locations, location number 5 is now fully populated with our DJX profile. All right, and now that we save this off to the Force 1.0, you'll notice if we cycle power on the Force 1.0, the most recent DMX Universe profile that has been saved, edited, or loaded will be the one that automatically gets brought up when you power cycle the box. Now you'll notice after it goes through the few seconds of the bootloader initial startup sequence, it's going to automatically load profile number five, which is our DJX profile we just saved off. If you give it a few more seconds, you're now automatically into run mode with the DJX profile configured on the Force 1.0.